The petition to legalize cannabis in the UK has garnered more than 156,000 signatures in less than a week. The success of the petition posted on the government's website means that Parliament must now consider a debate on cannabis legalization, a requirement for all petitions to get more than 100,000 signatures. The petition, created by James Owen, a university economics student, calls for Parliament to make the production, sale, and use of cannabis legal. In the appeal, he said legalizing cannabis could bring in 900 million pounds in taxes every year, save 400 million pounds on policing cannabis, and create over 10,000 new jobs. Furthermore, Owen told The Guardian that it doesn't make sense to waste money enforcing cannabis laws when Uruguay and several U.S. states have already legalized the plant. He added that there are about 3 million adult cannabis smokers in the U.K., and that it's wrong for the government to be criminalizing such a large section of society. It's still unclear if Parliament will acknowledge the petition and the importance of its message. First, it must be considered by the Commons Petitions Committee, a group of 11 lawmakers with the power to push the government to act. But the biggest barrier to bringing the petition to fruition is the Conservative government led by Prime Minister David Cameron, who has demonstrated his lack of support for drug reform. Still, public opinion continues to move in favor of change. On the same day the petition was released, Durham's Police and Crime Commissioner, Ron Hogg, said his officers would not go after people for using or growing cannabis for personal use. The next day, two other UK police commissioners backed up Hogg's stance. Furthermore, the number of UK residents who use cannabis just reached a five-year high, according to the Crime Survey of England and Wales. Like nations all over the world, the UK is clearly ready for cannabis legalization.